the most famous pieces of his gear, his bow and arrows, his club, and his impermeable lion skin cloak. Okay, that's enough myth telling for now. I want to show you how to make a constellation viewer, how to use a picture of a constellation to project a constellation onto a dark surface anytime you want. So I'm going to move my camera off of this bin of cat litter that I had it on. Let's see, we got our tools over here, our supplies we're going to need. Forgive me, this is going to be a little awkward. So once again, here's the finished constellation viewer. This is Hercules. And the first thing you're going to need to do, of course, decide which constellation you want to make a constellation viewer for. And then you're going to have to look up a picture of that constellation so you know what the star pattern looks like. So because I'm doing Hercules, we'll bring up that picture of Hercules again so I can go off, kind of go off of that to sketch my, uh, my Hercules constellation when it gets to that point. But before we do that, okay, here is my piece of paper. I am going to trace the, oh, there we go, the uh, one end of my cardboard tube on this paper. So I have a border that I can draw Hercules inside. You want all of your stars in your constellation to be inside of the tube. So you just draw a circle like that. Now, I'm going to use my picture and the one I made already for reference. I'm going to pick out the stars in Hercules. I'm going to draw them in their positions as best I can. And I'm gonna make big fat stars there we go. And then I'm gonna connect them with kind of skinny lines. Now I want the stars to be nice and fat because I'm going to poke them out. And if you don't have room for every single star, if it's a really big constellation, it's okay to leave a couple out. In fact, often different sources will give you different stars that go in certain constellations. And there are official stars to be sure, but that doesn't mean that some sources can't kind of come up with their own. After all, constellations, they're just things that we just made up. We just connected the dots in the sky a long time ago, and these aren't the only ones. These are just the Greek ones. Different cultures all over the world had their own constellations by connecting the stars in different ways. So, anyway, here's my Hercules. Wait, there he is. It's supposed to be upside down. There's my Hercules, and here's the thing about Hercules. I'm going to turn him back right side up again. He actually looks kind of like a dude. A lot of constellations don't look really much like what you think they're supposed to be. You look up at that and go, oh, that's supposed to be a lady. And it just looks like a line or two. Hercules has got a head. He's got two arms. He's got... Uh, a body right there. Well, it's like torso. That's called the keystone. If you're looking for Hercules, you're looking for these four stars and the keystone. And he's got a couple of legs down there. So he's actually a pretty well-formed man. The next thing I'm going to need to do, pick one end of my cardboard tube, lay my Hercules on top of it like so. And then it's going to take a bit and it's going to, it's not going to be pretty, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be pretty. This has to work. I'm going to start kind of folding the edges of the paper down as best I can. And then using a little bit of tape, I'm going to tape them to the tube. And I'm gonna to try to do this in such a way that there aren't any holes around the top of the tube. Because eventually I'm gonna shine light down this tube. And uh, the only holes that I want to be in are the ones I'm gonna poke as soon as I get this all taped on. So bear with me for a moment. This is, I don't want to say painstaking. It's not a painstaking process. It just takes a while to get it right. And you do want to get it right. A couple more pieces of tape. That'll be good. Get that side. And this side. One more. One more. One more. And there we go. We have Hercules. But right now, if we shine a flashlight down here, it would just hit the bottom of the paper and just not do much. So 
back to our pencil. We are going to need to carefully poke holes and make them fairly big for all of these stars. This is where I like a mechanical pencil a little better because it pokes through with the lead because it's nice and skinny, and then you can just poke the tip of the pencil through a little further and make them just the right size. A regular pencil will do, but you have to be extra careful because it's not quite as sharp, and you may end up tearing a really big hole. And if you do, it's okay. Just start over. There we go. Okay, so now we have our constellation holes and our Hercules constellation viewer, which means it is built. So how does it work? Let me turn the lights off, or at least as many as I can. One of them's motion sensor, but it's kind of dead. Here we go. Okay, so I think you'll agree it's a little bit darker right now, and this is going to be tough because we got a funny angle with this computer. Hmm. So here's what you need to do. You just kind of have to line up your flashlight as best you can on the open end of your Constellation Viewer. If you have, if you're using your cell phone flashlight, like I do this a lot too, just pop it in there. It's not going to be quite as bright, but it will work. And then you want to turn your flashlight on, and that's it. Let me see. Hold on. I'm going to try to do this as best I can. I'm going to hold this with one hand. Let's see. Work on. There we go. There we go. Got it almost perfect. Mm. Flashlight's not quite the same size as the tube, which is complicated issues. Okay, there we go. There he is. There's Hercules right there, projected onto a dark surface. Now, I have to do this kind of awkwardly because I'm filming this on a computer and I want to project it onto the dark table surface. But you can do it in a totally dark room, shine it on a wall, make them a little bit bigger. Those stars will allow you, well, those holes will allow you to see virtual stars wherever you are, as long as you can turn the lights off and grab a flashlight. Now, another way to do it, which may be a little easier sometimes, is simply to look through it like this and look at a bright surface. Like I'm looking at the screen on my computer and all these stars are coming through. Now, the, the, the thing about doing it this way is you're going to be looking at a mirror image, a reverse version of the constellation. But it's just another way to see the constellations during the day, when it's cloudy, when it's the wrong season for the constellation that you want to look at. Just take, you know, a cardboard tube, some paper tape and a pencil and a flashlight and make yourself a constellation viewer. Now, everybody, if you decide to make a constellation viewer and pick, you know, your favorite constellation, we'd love to see your pictures of it in action. You can send them to us on Facebook or on Twitter. Make sure you use hashtag TCM at home to share your stuff with us. And now, everybody, ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, thank you very much for watching. And I will see you again next Tuesday at 10 a.m. for some more Museum at Home Science. Have a great day.